Good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. It's me again, Jen. Hello. And we are on Wednesday, July 22nd. So we are halfway through the week, and I hope it has been a good one so far. And it is a beautiful but hot July where I am at, and I hope you are staying cool and staying safe and staying healthy. As always, if you enjoy these readings, these little clips into the insight of the tarot, please check out the playlist at the end and you will see all kinds of cards that we've already covered and a few different decks. So for now though, let's see what we have today. All right. I think this is a good Wednesday card. We have the 10 of pentacles. Pentacles, coins, diamonds, and the standard deck of playing cards all represent things of wealth, fertility, and the material world. This realm, rather than the spiritual or the creative realm. So these are the tangible things. Tens, of course, represent the ending of something. And for this card, I definitely think that, and they lived happily ever after, is an excellent way to kind of tell the story of this card. So with pentacles, it is going to be obviously a happily ever after of material things. So things in this world, a happy relationship, wealth and abundance, happy home, all of those kinds of things are rolled into this card, which is pretty clear to see. And I really like the representation of this one. And I'll talk about the blimps momentarily, but I wanna talk about the little family that we have here and our lovely lady in the foreground. So the couple and the child, and of course the two little dogs, dogs always, I shouldn't say always, dogs typically represent domesticity, loyalty, devotion, and kind of that long-term connection to another. This is that pack bonding. It is the loyalty of the hound, shall we say, all oh, these are little kind of cute fluffy dogs rather than hounds, but you know, they are, they represent that sort of ideal of being loyal to one another and being devoted to um, a master of sorts, but really the master is kind of domesticity and a relationship or the pack as it were. In this case, you have a lovely couple, which they truly do look like they are devoted to each other. And it is not just a momentary devotion in this case. It is a devotion of long term of really knowing what the two minds have together as one. There's a child represented kind of behind the man's cloak, which would represent kind of the future of things as well, knowing that this isn't just like a fleeting romance. This is our future. This is we're staying together for the, the next generation as well. They are elevated on this kind of pedestal, which I like in this case, because again, it kind of brings it up to that level of, this is not just a fleeting passing thing. This is something we have built together. Arches represent kind of that coming together as well and that structure, that weight being able to hold on that arch and passing through to another generation and another level as well because arches are kind of portals. I want to talk a little bit of the gal in the front here. She is obviously a fortune teller. She does look more mature than the two in the background here. And the card that she has, it's really hard to tell, but it is a 10 of pentacles, a 10 of diamonds. So it is again, kind of echoing this we are we are thinking of material we are thinking of this realm but and this is where i wanted to bring up the blimps in the background i've noticed this on a couple other cards and i'm not sure if i've mentioned it or not but it is interesting that the blimps are kind of in the background as representative to me of connection to the divine so not only is this story one of this world being happily ever after and everything hunky-dory but also there is a connection that it is almost fated that the gods are watching or your higher self is watching and all of these things were kind of in a 
way preordained as if, yes, every step you've taken on the path of the pentacles has led you here. If you did things as, you know, for, for the greater good and also for your own greater good rather than the thrill of the moment and spending money and things like that. And instead you have saved well and done well and you have done for your heirs and things like that. So this is not just having money in the bank or having a big savings account. It's that thought for the future. You have built a lovely home and you've not gotten yourself in so much debt over it. And, and everything that you have is kind of rank and file and in accordance with what you can afford. So that's a big one with this card is that you aren't just frittering away and having this beautiful life that you can have, but you're also saving and thinking of the future. So that everyone generations down the line will be able to live off of what you have accomplished. So in some ways, it's not just about money, but the, the personality and the, the legacy that you leave for your, your children and your grandchildren, etc. I really like this card as that happily ever after, but we do have to kind of say it's an ending card. So when the tens are drawn, it's always a thought of, okay, but what's next? And I know as a writer, I've always thought about, oh, well, happily ever after, what happens after that? This card takes work to maintain. So the work is there, kind of hidden in the distance of this card too, is you're going to have to work, devotion, loyalty, all those kinds of things to maintain this. But think about it in the moment as these are the times you take photographs of. These are the times that you write about. These are the moments for your memoirs and the stories you will tell your grandchildren. This is a moment, though, because life is a cycle and things will move. Enjoy this moment for what it is, but realize that it takes work to maintain it and it will pass. And there will be good times and bad times that go along with this. As long as you are devoted to one another and your your tribe, your pack, your your family, that kind of thing, it will continue to be mostly good. And your happily ever after will be attained over and over and over again, rather than, oh, we're done, happily ever after, and we're never going to see this again. So I think that was a lovely card for a Wednesday. Let us all hope that we can continue to work and have an awesome happily ever after for the weekend as well. And as always, if you are interested in tarot readings, our tarot cafe that happens on Mondays, any other further lessons, any insight at all about the tarot, please check out the link in the description below. And also check out the links of the playlist at the end of these videos so you can kind of go back and see some of the other cards that we've gone over. And if you're interested in any of the other strange and unusual things I do, including belly dance and playing instruments and just being overall kind of strange, check out some of the other playlists I have on, on my website, as well as some of the other social media things. And again, my, my website in the description to make appointments for any of the crazy stuff that I do. So until then, have a wonderful rest of your week. I hope to see you tomorrow. And Enjoy your happily ever after for this Wednesday.